What is going on guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of The Last War for 2.0. I had mentioned in our previous video we matched up against this clan called the KC Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs I'm assuming. Uh, some of them must be Chiefs fans, so it's going to pain them to learn that I am unfortunately a San Diego Chargers fan. Um, the AFC West, let me just say, is probably the worst division in football. It's been uh, pretty touchy for a while, ever since the Chargers kind of fell from grace with LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, I mean, I guess Peyton Manning stepped it up with the Broncos a little bit, but he has proven that he is a wash-up this year, so RIP AFC West, <laughs> that's all I'll say. It was really cool to match up with these guys, though. Uh, really good uh, American clan. Uh, definitely a three-star clan. You could tell right away just their bases were, were pretty decent, and uh, we knew it was in for we were in for a good war. So uh, definitely gonna just flip over and show you the results here. Uh, as you can see, 2.0 was victorious by only three stars, so it was a great war. Um, uh, the Chiefs really uh, really gave us gave us their best shot. Uh, so we'll just kind of scroll through, and uh, you can see what they did to us. Uh, two stars on all the all the tens, and technically a three star on one ten, but. Uh, that's Salty, the brand new 10. So they threed him. Uh, basically cleared the board on the nines. They missed two, I think, or three. Two, two. They missed Oki and Nightmare. Oh, and Sean. So they missed three. Uh, and then 2.0 got a couple three stars on the tens, as per KNX's special. Uh, and then missed one nine, two nines. Two nines. Yeah, so really good job. Uh, fantastic war. I got some awesome replays in here. Uh, really good effort from the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, they used 50 of 50 attacks. You know, it was a, it was a close one. Um, so great, great war, guys. Uh, let's just hop into some of KNX's beastly three stars on these tens. I said, take a little sip of coffee there. All right. Uh, so I think he's going in from yep nine o'clock here. Uh, KNX does this classic suicide hero quad lalo attack uh basically his goal is to send his two heroes in there he's going to take out that air defense he's going to lock onto that archer queen oh just almost misses her oh she's still up she's still up how does where is she going i think one of the pups kills her right here oh or not balloon crash i swear that there she goes yeah a balloon crash <clears throat> that was crazy that must have been a nail biter i didn't see that when i originally watched the replay so he just has a horseshoe of haste freeze rage over the core pretty standard stuff for knx he saves a few balloons for this back end because of how uh, kind of that air defense is a little exposed on that bottom side there's really only one archer tower before the balloons are right on top of it um, so all air defense are down one more inferno to go here and balloons are right on top of it uh, archer tower mortar done done it's clean up knx you monster nice work man Couple more. Three stars. Good job, buddy. Let's check out your other attack here. I'm a Gruber. Love that movie. <clears throat> Alright, so a little bit more of a rushed, I guess you could call it Town Hall 10. I mean, um, walls specifically, the only, uh, I guess it's mostly Town Hall 10 defenses, just uh, Arch Towers and Cannons. Uh, so KNX is going to do his typical. He's got Giant Down, a Wizard kind of helping uh, take down some of these buildings to buy the king enough time to get in there after that queen so king's in queen's about to lock on boom king walks over takes care of that queen queen takes care of that air defense uh he just immediately starts his air attack which is great um there's no delay there uh doesn't want time to be a factor usually in this uh <laughs> this attack time is never a factor you crush bases in two minutes when it works and when it doesn't work it uh, really doesn't work so uh but seems to work perfectly great for knx here uh good value on that freeze gets I, oh i thought he got all three uh three teslas there but still two teslas in the inferno uh looking good at this point rage is down over the core he just got to get over to these uh for inferno tires he's got four more loons he purposely dropped on that back end to go right to that inferno they both go down at the same time still under the freeze beautiful looking attack knx couple more to go last air defense is about to go down Arch tires about to go down, looking sexy. KNX mops up with a sit another six star war. Good job, buddy. Oh, sorry, I got pretty bad allergies this morning. Uh, must apologize if I'm sniffling a lot. <clears throat> awesome, nice three star. 
Cool. So my last video, uh, the 2.0 guys, I swear, all went off using Valks, and apparently they kept the theme here. So uh, more Valk attacks from our nines I decided to go with here. Uh, I had a few really nice ones. There was a lot of really nice attacks in here, guys, so apologize if I did not show your attack. Um, I'm just attracted to those redheads. You know how that goes. So <clears throat> going in on uh, Sean on number 16 here, he brings nine Valks, a shattered entry, um, one thing I like about Valks is for a first hit, they're so viable. Um, they're just like the all around unit, right? They do great damage. They're super quick. They're very tanky. Um, things like bombs and spring traps and don't affect them as much, at least as say hogs, right? Um, even when you don't know where Teslas are and, uh, air mines, could also pose a huge problem for your balloons. Um, I definitely think hogs are the most risky unit to be using, especially when you don't know where the traps are, because if you don't know where the traps are and you send in a bunch of hogs, well, you're just kind of praying for the best. Um, Valkyries, on the other hand, don't care. They're really the only thing that can hurt a Valkyrie would be something like a dragon or balloons. Balloons just destroy Valkyries. Yeah. Sorry, you guys, got my... Uh, Number one labs fan here sitting beside me eating some dodo snacks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so double jump goes down for the Valks. Like, it really opens up a huge piece of this base, too. So fantastic job, Sean, just reading this. Sends in a bunch of hogs, and they, he knows they're just going to path around the rest of this base, and they're in no danger because the rest of this base is so compact. He doesn't even have spring traps to worry about for his hogs. So um, great read on the base, Sean. Uh, I'm not 100% if it was a cleanup or not, but uh, you just absolutely killed it. Nice job, buddy. Couple more here, and we're on cleanup. All right, three stars. Job, Sean. All right, next Valk attack. Nightmare bringing another one. <clears throat> uh, except he brings earthquakes. Uh, you can, you can kind of do it anyway. He brings Earthquakes and a jump. So he really wants to get huge penetration into that base. <clears throat> I like the two hogs he sends in here. I think this was the first hit because I don't think he knew that Tesla was there. He probably wanted to set those hogs in. Um, but they kind of do the job. They tank for the they tank for the Wizards just for a second. Tesla goes down and then that hog even has enough slivers to do one more hit. A couple more hits on that cannon. Or sorry, the crossbow. Jump is down as you can see. It's opening up a big piece. Huge funnel for those Valks. Redheads go in. Uh, after the Lava Hound comes out of the CC, look how quickly the Redheads lock on to Heroes, too. Um, I know Jake's mentioned it before, how Wizards, like, you know how Wizards seem to lock on to Clan Castle troops quicker than your Queen does, per se? I think Valks kind of work the same way with Heroes uh, compared to, like, a King. Like, watch, these Valks are just going to instantly run over, kind of at the same time as the King there. That's a bad example, but I swear, Valks instantly get get drawn into heroes um just like a wizard does to clan castle troops but things are looking good all air defenses are down so guess what he's got a bunch of back end loons just gonna drop two per archer tower two per wizard tower just make sure all uh anything that can kill air goes down first looking great at this point only a couple more defenses to go wizard tower is about to go down Queen's still over there, full health with her ability, just kind of beating on a wall. She's going to join in on the cleanup in a second. One more arch tower. Everything's looking safe. Cleanup time, nightmare. Sexy attack, buddy. Great job, three stars. All right, let's move down to 21. Check out Dingus's beauty on this one. Uh, so he brings eight valves shattered entry again. It's about that's pretty much what I like to I like to bring. Um, eight valves is is the number I, I generally aim for. If I can bring a ninth, that's great. <clears throat> so Dingus is going to open this wall here. There it is. Wall gets opened up. The golems are going to start rerouting uh, as soon as that cannon gets taken down by this queen. Golem should reroute. There he goes. So he's just. He's just waiting uh, for that golem to reroute, and then he sends in the Valk, sends in the King. Jumps already down. Just got to kind of keep moving on. I'm pretty sure he knew there was a Lava Hound in the in the CC. Queen gets stalled up here just a little bit, but it's okay. But see what I mean? As soon as the Valks took that jump, they went right over to that Queen, where the King was just still trailing behind. The King gets locked up on that King, but the Valks were in there so quick. 
uh, they just lock right onto those heroes. So beautiful job. He's got uh, bomb set triggered. Uh, CC troops are now pretty much taken care of. Just got to clean up those pups. And yeah, defensive arch queen's down. Big chunk of the base is taken down. Valks are still in there doing work. So he sends in a bunch of hogs. Really just got a handful of defenses to go. This little kind of compartment with all three wizard towers in ones. Sort of interesting, but uh, that can actually be really deadly for a Lalo, especially with the quad Teslas in there. Like that is just a Lalo trap right there. This is part of the reason why it's pretty safe to use hogs at this point, or sorry, uh, Valks on an attack like this. Because uh, even if you get the air defense, you still have to deal with a compartment like that. And when you're a Lalo guy, you do not want to see Teslas and Wizard Towers stacked up like that. Uh, really, Mortar's last defense to go, though. Dingus, just rock this base. Good job, man. A few more cleanup buildings. That queen bee through a wall. And three stars. Beauty. All right. So, is what it is. Good war. Um couple little a uh, couple little cleanup mistakes um on the nines uh i know uh 2.0 is working on that uh that's it's always the challenge right it's always the challenge to make sure that all the nines are cleared with using the least amount of th10 attacks because you want your tens going for threes um that's just how it goes, right? So that's always the goal of uh, Invicta and Swarm, um, and that is passed down the chain to us by 2.0. So fantastic war, guys. Hey, KC Chiefs, uh, hats off to you guys for uh, bringing the heat. Uh, absolutely uh, absolutely was impressed with, uh, with some of your attacks and uh, the fight you guys put up. So hopefully you guys continue to put up that fight in the AFC West and show Peyton Manning that he is too old to be in the NFL. Uh, I know the Chargers aren't going to be able to get it done this year. So uh, I will leave it up to the Chiefs. I actually have family that lives in Olafia, Kansas, which is very close to Kansas City, Kansas. I'm not sure if it's on the Missouri side or sorry, the Missouri side. As my sister would say, um, or the Kansas side, I don't know, but uh, it's in that area. I visited. I've been to Arrowhead Stadium for a Chargers Chiefs game. was unbelievable. Um, I live up near Toronto, so I've gone to quite a few Bills games. It's only a couple hours, and now I live really close to Detroit, about half hour on the Canadian side uh, from the Lions Stadium. So I've been to countless Lion games. And one thing I'll say about the Chiefs: unparalleled tailgating. Just party from eight o'clock in the morning until until the game was over and then even afterwards so um a fantastic city uh you guys are rocking it out there world series champs again coming from a uh his recaps coming from a chargers fan and a blue jays fan so you can imagine a little bit of the bitterness there but congrats guys um all the best to you uh great war uh that should about conclude things for me here that's your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then I'm out.